rectangle first. Well, those of you that were here at Lynchdown, I'm sorry, it's going to be a bit of a repeat. So, could you Tom does please stand up? <laughs> Come here. Come here. <coughs> oh, yeah. Now, this gentleman, matchmaker, decided to say something silly, which was, as we were coming out of COVID, it was a case of, um, it would be nice, isn't it nice to see your Coventry friends? Well, I went home after that thinking, I don't actually have any country friends. Mm. So I signed up to be a city host, and you all know what happened, because we're all here. Yeah. <laughs> so everything, everything today has all been controlled. Hold on. I've been changed my entire life. <laughs> I've heard you 20 odd years, so that's true. You have to do something. <laughs> Can we just say, Jane, from my dad, couldn't make it today. It just wasn't practical, but we've got a blessing of them. So, you know, thanks. Them. And thanks to the producers of a, a beautiful concert Hi. today. <laughs> Love her. <laughs> like I said to Mr. Oakley and the women like Jane don't grow on trees. <laughs> You may grow oakly yeah. trees. Oh. We don't have to book with me, do we? Do you want to say some words for her? Yeah, if you could. There's Trish about as well. Trish has gone to the newsroom to send her off, so it could be. Oh my god, they're good. Has she gone already? Go to the newsroom. Yeah, right? but she's coming back. Oh, well, she's coming back, <laughs> so she'll be gassing that. <laughs> Well, I'd like to say thank you to Jane and to Ian. I met them maybe just over a year ago. I hadn't met them that I knew of before that. I met them separately on their duties and then met them together. And I thought, for goodness sake, they're a perfect match because they're kind, they're caring, they gave up themselves to help other people. All that, all, all of you here, as the City Ambassadors. I believe that is the best legacy we have from City of Culture. I really do. And I think, yeah. and, and to finish off a year and then a romance and a wedding, oh, we can't have anything better, can we, for the city? Yeah. I spoke to somebody today and I said about Coventry being the heart of England and that we come from all over the world and especially my Godiva sisters, some of you will know some of my sisters are from different parts of the world but we are family because we live in Coventry and it doesn't matter where you come from people tend to stay in Coventry they come and then they stay some people haven't always got the idea that they're going to stay but they do it's because Coventry is a special place it's a place that gives and it's got the Godiva spirit and as soon as um, Jane and Ian asked me to be involved in their wedding, I was delighted. It was a very special honour for me to be a witness. I've never been a witness in my life before. <laughs> so it's a first for me, Christine. You had a lot of firsts, haven't you? So it's really special though, isn't it, to share. And by sharing their love, they've shared it with all of us. And we had a special blessing? I mean, I've never witnessed a blessing like that either of you. Wasn't it fantastic? So let's hear it for Christine. And Christine sang beautifully. And I knew, I knew that she has got, I do know that she's got a voice. And I had said to the person I was sitting next to, I said, do you realise that Christine can sing? She can write music and she plays a guitar. And the lady beside me didn't know. And when she heard you sing, what did you think? Amazing, you're blown away. So this whole whirlwind wedding is just the start. You know, we think sometimes when people plan weddings, it takes such a long time, there's so much planning, organizing, buying, sorting, everything, you know what's going on. But that's the beginning. That's the seed. Next year, I'll be married 50 years, five zero. <laughs> and I've been maybe by 40. So you see, I was already married 
married ten years before I became Lady Cobb. And I still got the same husband. So you see, so I'm lucky, aren't I? I'm lucky that I've got a husband who still wants to be my husband. <laughs> Even though I keep leaving him, I'm being a Lady Cobb. But the time, as we know, is the spirit of Coventry. And I know that she's with you. You've shown everyone that spirit in what you do. Trish is back, so I'm going to invite Trish to come on to her. A few words now. Trish is a party person, and I love her, and I know that she loves us all. And I always say a big thing about women, because I've got sisters with me tonight. Apart from them being family, I always say, women together are invincible. Can you hear that from the ladies, please? Women together are invincible. Example with Jane, yeah. with Chris, with Margaret, with Bernie, with Pat, with Robin, Lisa, Sayeda, who got me sat, Luba, Isabella, and Trish. So that leads me on to Trish. Thank you, everybody. My goodness, the party will see all those images across the BBC today. But today, it's all about you, Jane, and Ian. Yeah. Your hearts are amazing, that's why everyone's here. I'm sorry that couldn't be at the ceremony, we had a problem with the studios, whatever, but the pictures on the BBC Midland State, you are the most read. But yeah, you, your story is the most read today, wow. which is amazing. Yeah. So, can I just say, Jane and Ian, you've come together through love, and we're all here because we absolutely love you. Yes. You are amazing, generous hearted people. And Christine, lovely singing. That was tough with you. Can't be just hello, hello. It's only just me. <laughs> but seriously, Jane and Ian, from the time that we've all met you, you made everyone feel welcome. That's why we're here, because it's very rare in life where you meet people and instantly you want the best for them. So I'm, you know, I'm a Christian. I believe whatever faith you are, that, that someone brings people together. And for you, you have the, the wonderful, loving miracle of finding someone at this stage in your life that's truly in love with you and will care for you. You're beautiful people. We love you. Best of luck in the future. You won't need it because you're gorgeous and we've got someone watching over you always. Three cheers for Jane and Ian! Hit him! And I didn't do Father, Son and Holy Spirit either. <laughs> oh, four weddings and a funeral, Roman Atkinson, his first service, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do it, I got it right. One to me, zero to Roman Atkinson. Right, oh, there you go, it's all yours here. I'm lost for words. That's good. 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 Come on. 